Either a 94 here bringing you another action figure review. This time it is on Captain America from the Avengers Walmart exclusive 6 inch series. Now let's get this guy out of the package and review him. Alright, so here he is out of the package. This is Captain America from the Avenger series 6 inch. Finally came out in stores. A little bit late. Not when the movie came out, but probably two weeks after or a week after. And, um,. Managed to find Captain America. The only one I found this one in Iron Man, so uh, I'm <laughs> still hunting down the other ones. The pegs are empty now, but anyways, this figure is pretty nice. I like it. Um, I wish they kind of used uh, some shading on the blue or, I don't know, just a little bit more detail, but it's fine with me. Um, to me, the prototype pictures look better than this, but this one's still good. And uh, let's just go on with the articulation right now. The articulation, it is uh, double jointed at the knee. And then got the up and down in the ankle side. Oh, and it's at the ankle pivot. And then side to side. It doesn't go side to side, but you turn the leg for that, I guess. But the ankle does not go side to side. The thigh goes side to side. And the leg goes forward and back and side to side pretty well. Now this one's, I don't know if this is new, but if you see there, you can see like a little thing in there by his crotch. They're both connected, both legs, so if you move one leg, the other one's going to move. You see that? How the other one's moving with it? So they're kind of connected, so you got to like hold it, and then move that one back and move this one forward to have them separate ones. But they both move at the, see, they move, see how the right leg's moving too along with it. So, anyways, uh, double jointed elbows no wrist articulation at all i don't know why um yeah no wrist it's the forearm that goes in the circle and the arm they're really hard it goes up and down like that and then to go in and out it's pretty hard i can't i, I can go higher but you know i don't want to break it the head side to side all the way around it's all ball, ball joint goes up it will go down, but it's stuck. I can see it can go down, but I don't want to force it. It's, I don't know, maybe the paint dried on it. It's stuck, but it's got the, this torso thing. It's not a crunch, but it's not an ab crunch, but it's the ball jointed torso, I guess. And then the shield, they made it so weird this time. They made it with these straps to make it realistic, and um, I don't like it. <laughs> it didn't really work out as uh, I hoped. I did manage to get it on him without showing the straps. At first, it'll show the straps will be hanging out because you gotta tighten it. But you got you just gotta go in a circle twice. You get it there, you tighten it, then you go again around his arm, or just try to see. I mean, it was around his arm for about like a couple of days, so I guess it kind of just like it warped into that position right now because of the, the rubber. So it kind of stays there now, which is good. So it's like that. You know, it's not like the other ones where you clip it on him. But I guess they try to make it something different, more realistic, but I don't know. I, I liked how it was before, just the clip. And I guess you can put it on his back too, but it would be kind of hard. But there it is, that's how it looks. The shield is smaller. It looks like a 3-inch figure shield. But I don't know. Kind of still still looks okay. It doesn't look too small. I mean, with him here, it looks pretty fine. Uh, but yeah, and his belt is loose. Uh, it's not glued on you see you can move it when I first took it out of the package it was like to the side and I thought it was stuck on there but it's actually loose so you can move it down and it'll go into into place so that's how Hasbro does it they always make the belts loose they don't make it attached but yeah, there you go um he looks okay I mean if you compare it to a picture of the movie he looks I mean the movie the blue is darker it's not this light but still I mean I like it it's not that bad. Whoops. The ankle pivots is this is from the Marvel Legends, so they started using it on him. So you know that always helps for for posing to the side now. Yeah, isn't that the best pose you've ever seen? <laughs> but anyways, you can pose him like that and he can stand, you know, he won't have the legs like on the side. This one's loose though. This ankle pivot is really loose and you know. But Whatever, this figure is pretty cool. Um, he's going pretty high on eBay. I mean, the scalpers, the whatever you like to call them, the resellers are going after them and selling them on eBay. I'm not buying from them. I don't care how much I want it. But, yeah, they did this thing again where they cut off the paint or this, the actual 
sculpt because of this joint and I don't know why they could have just done what they did with Bucky Cap for uh, Marvel Legends and just ended it there so it went it still goes up but you still see the paint there but whatever I mean you know and this thing annoys me too that, that thing that you can see in his cross that thing sticking out it's like more in his left leg than in his right leg you see you can't really see it there but nonetheless it's still good it's still you know at least it's still it's, it's not as hard as the other one where you gotta twist the ball joint and everything but Anyways, let's get some size comparisons going. Uh, and there he is, right next to Bucky Cat Marvel Legends uh, size comparison. Uh, you see, he's a little bit taller. His head is right above his, just a little bit, just a tad bit. They did make him bigger than the Avenger movie Captain America. I'll show you that right now. Here he is with the Avenger movie, not the Avenger movie, the uh, first Avenger actually, the first Avenger Captain America movie, and here's the Avengers movie. 6 inch figure and he is taller people did complain that the the, the Captain America was short too short and uh, the first Avenger figure and there he is they did make him pretty pretty tall pretty tall there and you can see kind of compare the shields as well you see how small this one is right here kind of see a little bit smaller but it still works for this figure. It doesn't look too small in his arm. It does not look too small. So it still works out. As long as it works and it looks well, you know, I don't mind. And there he is next to the ultimate Captain America from the movie line, which he did not come out in the movie like that. They just made him like that. This is from the comics. So he's still a little bit taller. And this guy has a helmet. So this is the tallest Captain America made by Hasbro so far in six inch form. But they did improve, they did make him a little bit more accurate in size. So that's all, always good. You know, the size has to matter. There he is next to him. And last but not least, Bucky. So, there's your size comparisons. Captain America comes with this piece of uh, a stand that you can build when you collect all six figures. It makes a circle, so you can put the Avengers in the circle like you saw them in the movie. And that includes Loki too, the enemy, so I guess you can put him in a circle if you wanted. But this is a little cool thing, you can build the circle. And each one comes with the same exact piece, does have nothing different, you know. Has the A in the middle and that's it, there's no name, nothing, no difference. They all connect the same thing, okay. So, same piece for every single one, it's still a little extra cool thing they added. So, you know, that's always, that's always cool. You can stand on that peg holes that... Underneath the feet, they got peg holes, all of them do, I think. So you can stick them in there, you need to stand them up. So overall, I like the figure pretty well made. Um, I like how it looks. The suit looks just like the movie. Uh, the blue might be a little too light, but uh, it works with the figure. And the shield is not too small or not too big. It's probably about the right size. It just looks small because we're used to the other shield. And yeah, I just, I mean, the prototype kind of look like they made the shield look shiny like a shiny paint but they kind of changed that i guess maybe it chipped or whatever like always but as you see here here's another ankle pivot you know stance i guess pose uh just showing off the ankle pivots i guess how you can stand them up well and their feet are planted and yeah this figure is uh really cool anyways uh guys thanks for watching this is 94 and uh please subscribe peace